Well, hello everyone, I'm Darth Browner, and welcome to a lovely little video on my favourite Mega Man classic game, Mega Man 5. The plot is very basic. Proto Man, I say Proto Man in speech marks, um, kidnaps Dr. Light. As you can see from this very cool little intro, which for the Nairs at the time, pretty neat. So, I'm going to go straight into it. The music is brilliant. Listen to how urgent the title screen sounds. How cool is that? I mean, that's just an example of the great soundtrack, for instance. But here's the rogues gallery you've got to face. You've got Stone Man, Gravity Man, Crystal Man. Napalm Man, Gyro Man, Star Man, Wave Man, and Charge Man. You need to fight those bosses in order to get to Proto Man. So, if you're not exploring the dark caves of Napalm Man's level, you'll be exploring Star Man's um, Astro themed level. And there's some great little features, such as the jet ski section of Wave Man's level, which was quite cool. It's Mega Man in a vehicle for the first time. How awesome was that? But the nice little twist is Gravity Man's level, which is my favourite level in the entire series, bar none, with the gravity manipulation mechanic. I love that. It's just awesome. And the music, again, is just superb to boot. The boss designs and the boss battles themselves are pretty funky as well. I mean, take what you'll see in a second, your Gravity Man's boss fight is pretty nifty. We also got fights against um, various other bosses like Wave Man's is pretty cool, the Star Man, and many others. Uh, that basically wraps up why I like Mega Man 5 so much. It's just a very well developed game. And now we move on to a timeline of the series. Mega Man kicked it all off in 1987. Then we moved on to Mega Man 2 in 1988, which refined Mega Man 1 quite considerably. And then we move straight on to my one of my favourites, Mega Man 3. Introduced us all to Proto Man and refined a lot of the elements that Mega Man 2 had, which was pretty cool. And Rush got debuted as well. And then we go on to Mega Man 4, brings us a new villain, a charge shot, and pretty cool um, levels as well. And then we move on straight to, in 1992, Mega Man 5, which, for reasons I've just discussed, is my favourite. Then we go on to Mega Man 6, which was released in Europe, for some unknown reason, in 1993. I think it came out in around the same time as this was out. Then we have Mega Man 7, Mega Man's first foray into 16-bit, that's the classic series, that is Mega Man X was out before them. That brings us into Mega Man 8, 32-bit PlayStation, Sega Saturn era. Then we're on to Mega Man 9 2008, which is one of my personal favourites, because after such a long hiatus, it's nice to see the classic series come back. Mega Man 10, effectively, pretty much Mega Man 9 all over again, but additional features like more playable characters and now brings us to the present Mega Man 11 look at how stunning this game looks absolutely beautiful voice acting nowhere near as terrible as Mega Man 8 thankfully with um, additional gameplay features at the time I'm playing through the demo and um, I think it's shaping up to be a bloody good game and well worth the wait well, I hope you've um, enjoyed this video. This has been Darth Browner. Thank you ever so much for watching this little retrospective look at Mega Man. And uh, don't forget to give us a like and hit that subscribe button. And guess what, guys? We'll see you on the next video. The next Mega Man game I will be covering on the channel after this will be Mega Man 11. So get ready for that, guys. 